Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of the Catalyst Magazine. I'm coming to you from beautiful Tuscany. Where I'm on vacation, enjoying some great wine, some great people, some great food, but it's not too busy to forget about you. And I wanna be sure that I share with you an AutoCAD tip that's gonna help you be more successful and more productive in the office. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked all about the very cool new dimensioning one-stop shop tool, and I showed you most of it. I just have a little bit more to show you. All right, so let's go back into our dimensioning tool. It's on the annotate tab on the ribbon. It's also on the home tab of the ribbon. It's this guy right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select on that. And super easy, I'm just gonna remind you very quickly where we were before. You just basically move your cursor over any object that you want to dimension, and then drop that, click that, click the object, and then drop the dimension in place. So last time I showed you radial and diameter, and I showed you how to do angular dimensioning. If you missed it, be sure to go back and check out the previous videos. Okay, but today, I'm gonna to take it one step further. I wanna show you something that you may not figure out unless someone shows you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna dimension this object right here. And then I'm gonna drop that dimension right on top of another dimension. And I can already hear my drafting teacher right now sobbing in hysterics. <laughs> so take a look at the command line though, not to worry. AutoCAD knows that's probably not what you want. So I can do move away, which is what we're gonna do first. I can do break up. Breaking up is hard to do. We'll do that one later. And replace means basically that original one is gone. This new one will take its place or none, which means I leave it the way it is and my drafting teacher will continue to sob. <laughs> so let's do a move away. When I click on M, do a move away or click on the command line, however you want to do it or use it as the default. If it's the default, you will see that it allowed the one I just placed to stay where I put it and the existing dimension moved away to accommodate. All right, so let's move away. The new one wins as far as location is concerned. All right, let's, let's try this again. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna select this line right here. Same deal, I'm gonna land it right on top of that dimension. So let's try breakup this time. I'm gonna say B for breakup, and you will see that it places that dimension inside of the existing dimension. So basically we have a continued dimension, right? Would you figure that one out on your own? I don't know, probably would have, because I'm sure you're bright. But now you don't have to, because now I showed it to you. And like I mentioned to you before, uh, the other options replace, that's pretty straightforward, and then it means you leave it a mess on the screen. All right. So I'm gonna hit an escape to get out of the dimension mode. And as I mentioned to you before, this is one big dim mode. So if I do an undo now, in fact, let's do it just to show you. All those guys are gone. All those dimensions are gone, which we all do once and we all cry about, right? I'm going to show you a big Augie wish list item that made its way into AutoCAD 2016. It was on the Augie wish list for a while and it was finally granted. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this dimension text. And I'm going to, let's type in Augie wish list, right? Now, if you take a look at the screen, you'll see there are slider bars that allow me to control the paragraph width. Awesome. So now I have more control over how that dimension text is gonna show up, thanks to all those awesome Augie votes. And if you don't know what Augie is, Autodesk User Group International, just go to Augie.com. It's free to join, and you can vote on your the biggest wishes that you have for nearly all Autodesk products. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click out of there. That was a big wish that was granted. All right, so I showed you a few new things that had to do with the one-stop shop dimension tool. I showed you how you can now control the width of the text for your dimensions. I hope that you learned a couple things. I hope you're on the road to being the dim expert at your company. And for me, you know, I have a beautiful glass of red wine waiting for me. <laughs> so wish you could join me. Cheers. <laughs> I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Ciao.